Welcome back to IndieK 2015. I'm here today with Serge, and we're talking about Evil Librium. Uh, did hey, I get that right? Yeah, for sure. Nice, nice. Uh, tell us about the game. So, uh, I am a search from Walk Walk Indie Game Dev Studio. Okay. Uh, we are from Russia, from Saint Petersburg. Uh, we released our first uh, successful game two years ago. It was called The Engines of the Librium. It was the first part of this project. It was successful. We got all money we put in, and it still gives us some money. That's why we decided to make the second part of it. But it really new art style. I gave you a cat, so like uh, these are examples of our art style. It's kind of combination of steampunk, gothic style, and maybe comic style. Uh, so this game is about a uh, new universe we created, uh, and we use a special word soul punk. It's like a combination of steampunk and maybe gothic atmosphere. So the history takes place at the beginning of 20th century. It's like kind of uh, alternative version of mankind. Uh, there are a lot of uh, pretty famous persons uh, in this game, such as Arthur Conan Doyle, for example, or Nikola Tesla. Uh, the main idea is to collect uh, cards through exploring dungeons and create your own powerful army to compete uh, NPCs via company mode and real players via two types of PvP, APvP and real-time PvP. So, so how does how does the the game work? Like, what are what is the we talk about PvP? We're putting our armies against other people's armies. Uh, what is what is the main game? So the main gameplay uh, is uh, exploring dungeons. It's a tapping system. You should find the exit from dungeons by tapping on cells. And under those cells, you can find different events. Treasures, traps, uh, poisons, uh, healing potions. And uh, as well, you can find the enemy's uh, army. Uh, it can be an NPC or real player. So at the left part of the game, of the screen, there is your army. It, you can use three fighters. Uh, there is three lines, uh, back line, uh, middle line, and front line. And uh, you can put your creature there, and then you put uh, fight, and they begin to fight automatically, like in all other uh, battles genre. Uh, battles, uh, it's kind of the main thing of the genre. A creature fights automatically. But you can uh, focus on uh, the enemy's targets you want, your creatures will be uh, attacking. You can heal your creatures, and you can use uh, abilities of your creatures, uh, their skills, and skills of your main character, who is like a summoner, who uses souls to summon the creatures to fight uh, on his side. Uh, so uh, it's a kind of combination of collecting cats, because they use uh, cats. It's the uh, best way to um, improve your creatures, comparing some cats together and higher the level. Uh, also, it's a combination of RPG, because uh, after fights, your uh, main characters and your creatures gain some experience, they leveling up. Uh, you can use a really big skill tree to raise your main character, uh, like a supporter, attacker, healer, debuffer, and combination of uh, exploration dungeons with our tapping system. Uh, this um, thing works really cool, judging by the results of the first part of the game. Uh, but now we use Unity, so it will be viable not only for mobile platforms, but also we are trying to find uh, the success well for our games at some new platforms. We just got uh, dev kits of uh, Apple TV platform and Shield by NVIDIA, you know. Uh, so we'll try to go with, with our game to those new platforms. We think uh, they should be successful. Uh, and we're also planning uh, to be uh, at uh, mobile platforms and Steam. We are really strong at mobile platforms. We had some skills and experience of promotion games there. Uh, and we have some auditory from the first part of the game who really wants to have a chance to play at the second part. Uh, we'll start our closed beta test in a week on this Halloween. So uh, if you are a hardcore game slower, mm -hmm. uh, please go to our website www.soulpunk.me and you can share your email and we'll send you an invitation to close beta so you have a chance to be uh, one of the first soul hunters in our universe. Well, it sounds like you've put a, like, a lot of work already into like designing a lot of the monsters uh, as well as their special skills. Can you talk about like any of the particular monsters? Uh, I know that we got some of the cards here. Uh, any of their skills or any of their like specialties? Yeah, sure. Um, 
searching uh, some projects with the same art style or the same gameplay at our market, uh, we can clearly see the problem. Uh, there is no new universe uh, in game industry. There are a lot of uh, reskins from popular TV shows, uh, movies and so on. Uh, there are a lot of uh, universe about Marvel and DC comics, you know. But uh, there is no, nothing really new at the market. Uh, it was a kind of experience with Angry Birds and their universe, you know. Uh, but nothing new. So we decided to create our own universe. It's a kind of alternative version of mankind when uh, there are different kinds of uh, fractions there. Uh, heretics, soul hunters and other guys. All things in this world works with the help of uh, soul energy. Uh, weapon, armory, uh, yeah, different cast and also you can use souls to summon your creatures. So uh, we are collaborating with two really cool screenwriters who had an experience of screenwriting for movies, cartoons, comics, so on. Uh, they're helping us to create our own big uh, universe. Uh, there are some portals from uh, alternative worlds to the real world uh, that helps us um, to use uh, creatures with really different art styles and really and different uh, things like uh, dwarves, uh, uh, angels, uh, creatures from hell, from hell, and real guys, uh, some steampunk machines, you know, because uh, the thing is about steampunk. Uh, it works really cool at the first part of the game, uh, with really uh, brightful and colorful art style with creatures from different styles, and it works really cool with the uh, plot uh, about portals from different kinds of the world. So we decided to use this idea at this part of the game, but now, as you can see at the promo cards, that style is like uh, about gloomy, uh, ambient atmosphere. Uh, we was really inspired by the game Dex Dungeon. It's pretty popular uh, at Steam. Uh, so. We can say that our art style is close to them. About skills, uh, we're still working on it. Uh, there will be uh, classical skills, uh, making some damage, some damage over time, uh, poisons, buffs, debuffs, healings, guys. Uh, we had a lot of uh, different classes in the game. And as I said, uh, the position of the creature at the battlefield depends on his class. For example, if you put our wolf at the forest line, he will be like a damage dealer. But if you put him at the middle line, he will buff uh, the fighter from the first. So it's, it gives you a great um, number of combinations and your uh, own uh, fighting style. You can use the, the creatures with abilities that can stun and sleep enemies. So you can, you can control, to be like a controller. You can create your army with healers and tanks and it will be really powerful army of uh, you know, high living rate creatures. So there are a lot of them. Also, uh, we made a skill tree for more than 50 skills for your main character. So it's also help you uh, to play at different roles in the game. Buffers, debuffers, support, uh, damage dealer. So the combination of skills of creatures and combination of skills of main character gives you a big variety of your choosing. You can choose different fighting styles, you know, so. No, it's, it's fantastic. And you mentioned that there's a beta that's opening up yep. in the, the next couple of weeks. How can people jump on on that? Uh, so, it's pretty easy. You can find uh, our game in social nets like Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you can directly go to our promo website www.soulpunk.me and share your email with us. So, uh, we'll invite you to our close beta and send you the build you so you can play it and give us some feedback. Also, we'll make some prizes uh, for uh, our players. So it will be a really cool handmade t-shirt for the best uh, feedback giving guys. It will be a really cool, uh, uh, really cool cuts and really cool bonuses for the release for the game. Mm -hmm. And also we've made with the help of 3D printer a unique flash drives with that logo of the game in the form of healing potion. Also a bunch of guys uh, 
will be like a Venus uh, at our close beta. So we will plan to add uh, a lot of stuff during close beta. So mm -hmm. we really need the feedback of real players. Sure. But be sure that you are a hardcore player because right. this game is really hard. It's, it's really hard. Okay. But uh, a lot of guys from the first part of the game li like it because of the high level of uh, difficulty. No, oh, of course. Yeah. It sounds like it. Well, if you want to check it out, definitely go to the website, start signing up for the beta. Thank you very much for Thank talking. Thank you for your time.